two and a half years. So had this sort of been attending on a monthly basis to our peer support group in Pinkerfilly, which was, as I said, was our last project. And, <laughs> and I just want to sort of reiterate the experiences that she's had um, with Death Mind Cymru, and maybe sort of say a few words about coming on to the Brendan series as well. You're happy to do so. Right. Well, the floor is yours. And the thing that's reassuring for me is I can't see anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know anybody to see. Um, but uh, yes, I'm Heather. I live in Schlumbracher, which is the north of Philly. And I go to the Philly uh, group. I think I've been going for about two and a half or three years. So. Um, a friend told me about it. I don't know how she got to go. But uh, well, from the very first meeting, I've been so It's lovely to meet people, and we're a friendly lot. Not many of us, but it's a really friendly, relaxed meeting. a tremendous feeling of isolation when you can't see anything you, you see people out you don't know whether to start a conversation or even if you know them so there is this regular connection with friends that you know but when you get there you listen to their voices and you think oh yes that's good um, it's really reassuring and we've done lots of interesting things um, recently we've had a lady from of the audiology department in the local hospital. So she came and told us lots of things about looking after our hearing and where to get batteries and all that sort of thing. And we've had a visit from site support to tell us how to look after our eyes and what equipment we can get. And we've had someone who we did um, armchair aerobics, I think they called it. So that's <laughs> Exercised our limbs as well. Um, and then we had a very interesting visit by a gentleman from the um, guide dogs for the blind. And what I liked, apart from what he said, I haven't got any guide dog and I won't be having one, but he brought his Labrador with him. Now, <laughs> would have, I would never have known what a Labrador felt like <laughs> before, but he was beautiful. So it's sort of experiences like that, really in contact with the outside world. We've had a visit from the fire department um, and there was a good follow-up on that because they came to your home and told you if you were overloading um, plugs and you know what you were doing wrong and what to move, that was very beneficial. Um, we've also done things um, on the creative line. A lady came from model house in Fentrisson. She came and we did um, uh, Christmas wreaths, which I'm told were beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> no, was, my daughter wasn't so impolite as to tell me mine was rubbish, but she said, oh, that's lovely. <laughs> um, and also, another thing that we did lately, she also brought some clay, and we did um, ceramics. Yes. Well, we like shopping. I like the, I like 